In 1961, Nancy Wilson and Cannonball Adderley recorded an album for Capitol Records. It became a classic. You remember that Saturday morning cartoon? I think it was a, a movie show, a cartoon show, where uh-huh. they would uh, they would do the intro. I remember it being in black and white. They'd do the intro, and the voiceover person would come on and say, at the beginning of the movie, roll them, Lester, and then the movie would start. Do you remember that? I was never up on Saturday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> What was your favorite song of the night? I have mine. I knew you were going to ask me that. I, that's a very difficult question to answer because I like them all. And I'm not trying to bail on this question. But if forced to answer it, um, this masquerade is over. And Unit 7, when you sang along with the melody. Oh, <laughs> a highlight. Because there's so much fun in this music, too. And it's great to hear you sing... Uh, vocalist style without lyric. Yeah, yeah. Well, Masquerade is over because, again, that taught me restraint as a singer where we feel like we have to fill every hole and that took me years to be able to duplicate that and even on that gig the restraint the restraint and then all of a sudden at the very very end where the note just blows you away and thank goodness I could sing that note and so You might agree that this this concept of, of recreating these iconic jazz albums is not only fun for us as um, artists because they influenced us, but also brings the general public into these beautiful um, sets of music that, that we studied and gives people something to hang a hat on too, I, I think. To pay tribute to, yeah. ab- absolutely. Um, and to create an era that certainly influenced us. Mm-hmm.